Jack, it's wonderful to see you again. And, and uh, Ben, uh, it's great to meet you. And congratulations on Free Fire. Oh, um, you've assembled an amazing cast for this, and, uh, and Jack Rayner as well, obviously. And oh, uh, <laughs> oh, listen, it's no bother at all. <laughs> and, amazing. Amazing. And, and Jack, and Jack yeah, Rayner, yeah, yeah. yeah with Jack Rayner. <laughs> but I was wondering, how do you go about uh, putting that kind of group together? Do you, do you pick up the phone and do it? Do you brave them, stalk them? Like, uh, you know, what was your, your process behind that? Um, the initial burst of people were, um, it was Killian Murphy and Michael Smiley, and that had come from meeting Killian and chatting to him, and him kind of going, oh, you know, if, if you ever have a role that you think I might fit, you know, don't hesitate to ask, and then going home and writing Free Fire and going, this is the role I know you can fit, because it's written to you. Um, and I did the same thing with with Michael. Um, and then after that, I think Ar Army Hammer was um, someone that um, Amy and I really liked from um, Lone Ranger, we were big Lone Ranger fans. And uh, we just said, oh, we thought, oh, we never, you know, he seemed so totally impossible to get hold of. But yeah, it was like within about, I think it was about five days I was talking to him on Skype while I was shooting High Rise. And I'd been out to, for a few pints with everyone after filming the game. And I got a phone goes, oh, it's Army Hammer's going to be on the Skype. And I was like, oh, oh, oh no, Christ. glass of water <laughs> yeah, straight yeah, away. Like, yeah. Oh, oh Army Hammer. And he's like, um, I think it was like nine in the morning there. And, and he was, was probably like, 10 points. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so what was it like being in a film uh, that has lots of other Irish people in it, but not being an Irish that character was in it? bitter, man. That was hard. Like, especially when Shalto was coming out with some of his jabs at the Irish, and I had to stand there and be like, <laughs> yeah, that's real funny. It wasn't. <laughs> You're like, it's not funny at all. It's not funny at all. Yeah. In his yeah. eyes, it was just furious. Yeah. Yeah. And every time we would cut, I would always go over to the Irish side. I was, yeah. Yeah. Sorry, yeah. guys. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, sorry, guys, yes. Was it competitive on set with like, was somebody a particularly good shot or? The army's pretty proficient with the weapons. Like there was one day when Shalto was going, got jammed. And it's in the film that made the cut where army kind of turns around and he just like wah, 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 disassembles the gun and just sticks it all back together and hands it back to him. Army's yeah. a bit of a red blooded American. There's some brilliant trash talking in this as well, obviously mm. down to the excellent writing. Um, but do you have a, a personal insult that you like to direct towards? certain people at certain times like a, a favorite insult that you like to throw out what in the in the street in the street yeah if you're walking down the street Ben Wheatley's walking down the street and see somebody does oh, like no, I'm far too cowardly oh I'd really be, my under your breath what, what would you, like? you whisper <laughs> do you have a favorite I love calling thing? people a fucking spanner a spanner <laughs> yeah yeah it's really bad what's up next for both of you then I'm hoping to get away um freak shift which is a, a sci-fi movie about ladies with compaction shotguns tracking down giant crabs. That sounds like something I would watch. Yeah. Are you starring in that one as well, Jack? Or? Uh, it remains to be seen. I'm, I'm trying to push them. Yeah, yeah. I'll can have to dress do, up in drag, obviously. Or this. I can do a sideways. <laughs> Give me one of the crabs, perfect. <laughs> yeah. Someone was actually on their phone as I was watching this film, and I was thinking I'm going to go over and like chop kick their head the off face. or kick them in the face. Yeah. So I was wondering, what should we do with people who are on their phones in the cinema? Um, Boil their hands. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I think they should be a license and uh, they should then have it, like have a stamp on it and say they can never go in the cinema again. Yeah. And on the first, that's on the first thing. On the second one, they should be blinded. <laughs> yeah. With like, you know, the things you use for, for cleaning your eyes out, but they're with bleach. Oh like my that. God. <laughs> I think those are their reasonable should, actions. Their eyes should be those put out with hot pokies. <laughs> Something like that. I don't think, you know, it sounds extreme, but I'm sure if, you, if they had a vote on it, they'd, everyone would be for it. Well, listen, congratulations again on Free Fire. Uh, enjoy tonight. Uh, and Ben and Jack, uh, it's great to chat with you. Thank Cheers, you. Man. Thank you. Cheers. Sorry. I forgot who said I'm on. Smell of perfume. Oh, fuck. It's beard oil. We can't all be nice girls.